A new season brings optimism, a belief that a banner will be raised. In the soccer capital of America, a new team, a new season, a new family. Under the heat of the Florida sun, thousands of miles from the heartland, it begins. The commitment to a common goal and each other. There are a lot of things that are different between college and pro. Right off the bat, there's the speed of play, the mentality, the honestly, the pressure. It's crazy because the fact that I am around Sam Mewis, Lynn Williams, Chris and Hamilton, I'm shooting on AD every day in practice. The level and the intensity is just overall something that you are forced to rise to the occasion and adapt to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tay, Tay, coming on the inside. Come on, we gotta finish. Open that body, Brooklyn. Open your body. Now you do. Well played, Brooklyn. What about little Brooklyn there going on a little mazy run? I would probably say one of the biggest differences from college to pro is just the athleticism. Everybody's super fast, super athletic, very strong. And that's that's been one of the biggest adjustments is just like the physical journey. And that's something that Matt has been talking to us about a lot is just continuing the physical journey. All the older vets have really done a great job of sticking their hand out and making sure that if we do need help navigating this journey that they're right there with us hand in hand. So it's been absolutely great. At dinner time and lunch time we try and sit with different players so that we can get to know each other and just build team chemistry any way we can off the field. It's definitely hard coming in as a rookie so I just want to make them feel comfortable and make them feel like they're a part of the team because they are and they're putting in a lot of work so it's super awesome to have them. We have a lot of players with a ton of experience that have been doing a wonderful job of taking the rookies under their wings. Matt's done a great job of creating an environment that is a learning environment for the players and rather than spoon feeding players the information it's it's testing to see if they're intaking the information that he's given. The rookies on our team are incredible. They've really shown their confidence and their technical and tactical ability already, and it, I'm really excited to play alongside with them. I've really gotten to know everybody here, and the staff has been great. It's super competitive, and I really like being a part of something that's building to be one of the best and, and should be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she doesn't show up to treatment? That's why she left. Oh, oh my God. God. I think that the rookies are also getting along really well with the vets and just the team chemistry in general is really good so I'm excited to see where it goes. We want to win games, we want to really make a stamp on the league this year and I have a lot of confidence that, that we can pull that off and it's going to take a lot of hard work but I'm really excited to see how far we can take it. Okay, yeah, I forget, I keep thinking it's like a cutback to, oh, <laughs> keep going on, keep going on me! Stay in on! Stay in on! Yep. We're there for emergency situations, obviously. So me and Tom are certified in, in emergency care. So we're there for anything that happens like that. But mostly we're there to support the athlete, to see what they do on the day-to-day -day basis, how they move. And we're also there for hydration purposes. Allison and Wafa make work fun. Nikki makes work fun. The players make work fun. My job is basically to be an extension of Wafa, help her in any way that I can. So that's going to be doing treatments, doing rehabs. Um, I do a lot of taping with her. Basically anything that I can do to be useful for the club, for the players, that's what I do. As a pro athlete, it's really important to take care of your body, especially teaching young girls and the rookies from the beginning so they can have a long career. When you stay on top of the muscular issues, then you have fewer injuries. Nikki's the best. She's literally the best. Sorry, everybody else yeah. on the medical no. staff. <laughs> Nikki is the one. Love her. player comes in after training, complains about something that may be tightened up during training or a little bit of soreness in one spot, we'll kind of do an evaluation, see what we think could be going on, trying to figure out what the 
cause of the pain, soreness, discomfort is, and then from there, kind of based on a differential diagnosis, try to try to treat it from that point, try to manage it as much as possible, get it under control to make sure that the player doesn't miss any time on the field the next day. So my main role is mainly the gym sessions with the team, help keeping them strong. I also run the GPS for the team, set it up, run it, send it out, and then helping along with Ben, our performance director. The way they've tolerated the loads and the way they've progressed day after day and, and session after session, I think you train hard so that the game is easy. But so two will be out here, one of you will be here. Somebody crashes the near post, somebody organizing the box in the four zones from behind that. Does that make sense? So you feel okay. what we need to fill. 